It's been 15 years in the making, but officials behind the $58 million United States Marshals Museum in downtown Fort Smith say the opening date is drawing ever so close. In fact, it is set for next summer. Arkansas Business this week reported on the progress at the 53,000 square foot building. Editor Lance Turner now joining us with details about this. Lance, thanks for joining us. What is left to do now before this thing can open up next summer? Well, museum CEO Ben Johnson, who is new to the project, uh, tells us there's just a few things left on the inside of the building. The exterior of the building, designed by Polk Stanley Wilcock Architects of Little Rock, is completely finished. The inside of the building, though, is where all the work is happening, trying to install those interactive high-tech exhibits that they've been telling us about. And then, of course, there's a little bit more money left to raise, about $4 million left on the table to get before they can open the doors sometime this summer. All right, so all this began way back in 2007 we all remember that day when they were awarded the, or the marshall's museum uh, awarded the city of fort smith this project why has it taken so long to get this thing finished well, if you remember in 2007, that was a banner year for this project, but also for the economy. That's when we entered a recession at the end of that year. And so that kind of chilled early fundraising efforts. Uh, and then there were other challenges along the way. In 2019, about five years after they finally broke ground, uh, Fort Smith voters defeated that temporary one cent sales tax that would have raised about $16 million to fund the museum. So they had to go back to the drawing board in terms of raising that money. And then finally, uh, just a few months later in 2020, the pandemic struck and so there's been those challenges along the way but they've still managed to get a lot of supporters in their corner people like the family of, of the late lieutenant governor uh, winthrop rockefeller have have given to the project former arkansas best executive robert a young the third is involved so a lot of people have been involved but it's just been one challenge after another throughout some tough times so when it does officially open up sometime next summer how many people are going to show up and what are they going to see well, Doug Babb, who is the chairman of the museum's board of director, thinks it could attract 150,000 people per year. Uh, and when those visitors come in, they'll see more than 40 interactive exhibits. These are touted as very high tech interactive exhibits. The CEO describes a holographic bartender in one exhibit that's supposed to evoke a, a certain period of time in the Marshall's uh, history. There's also a hall of honor, though, that will remember Marshall's who have died in the line of duty. Ben Johnson says the museum really wants to deal with the whole of the Marshall's history the good and the bad. Uh, Marshalls did a lot of good things in our history, but they also, uh, you know, they returned escaped slaves to their owners in the Civil War. So like a lot of our history, that legacy is complicated, but they really want to tell that whole story of a 233 year history of the Marshalls in, in the United States. Yeah, boy, it's a long time in coming. We can't wait for, ha for it to happen. Lance, from our content partner at Arkansas Business, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, you can read the full story online right now at ArkansasBusiness.com.